are so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side. Rainbows are visions, but only illusions, and rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told and some choose to believe it. I know they're wrong, wait and see. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. of light in a medium, which is like the index of refraction, as a function of frequency and that medium. And N is the symbol of the index of refraction, which is a dimensionless number that describes how light propagates through a medium. And if you want to find the index of, a, of, a, of refraction using an equation, you can set it up as N, which like Madeline said is the index of refraction, equals C over V where C is the speed of light through a vacuum, and V is the speed of light going through the medium it's traveling through. All right, interphase is the boundary between mediums with different density, concentration of solute, and mechanical stress. Density would be um, an example of like different temperatures which cause different densities. Concentration of solute would be like salinity, for example, and then mechanical stresses like air pressure. And more stuff about the index of refraction like we talked about earlier. It's a property of a medium and it's the measure of a wave speed and it is always, always, always greater than one and never has any units. The index of refraction of water is 1.33. So long as the water stream does not bend at too sharp an angle, light traveling along the length of the stream strikes the water-air interface at an angle greater than 49 degrees with respect to the normal to the interface and thus is totally reflected. So basically, we shined a laser beam through the tip of a flame to show how median temperature can affect the dispersion of light. You can see how the red laser dots start twinkling like a star. Light travels in a straight line only when traveling in a medium with constant index of refraction. The index of refraction of air depends slightly on temperature. Thus, the hot air above the flame deflects the light slightly and in a time-varying way. Okay, so we have three types of prisms for this experiment. We have this big fat looking one, and then we have a triangle one, and then we have another one. This is kind of like an actual prism shape. It's made of rectangles around the sides and the bottom, and then black and edges. Yes, and then the black edges are black. And then we have a flashlight, which we put tape over and darken to make a slit so that the light will be dispersed better. Way better. <laughs> The dispersion of white light into the spectrum of colors occurs because the index of refraction of glass varies with the wavelength of the light. The triangular shape of the prism causes the refraction at the entrance and exit interfaces to add rather than cancel as they would for a normal plate of glass. Each color has a different wavelength, so each refracts at a different angle. This is why we see the rainbow of colors that makes up white light. Red has the longest wavelength and violet has the shortest. As you can see with any prism, a laser will not work because it oh. only works with white light. But it will disperse funny. Look at that. Holy crap. It's only because it's got a bunch of scratches on it. Because the prism has a whole bunch of scratches. Look at lightning. I'm just kidding. Laser dispersion. 